The long-awaited Samsung Galaxy S8 has arrived at Appalachian Wireless. Get yours for the introductory price of just $149.99 with a two-year service agreement. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless and East Kentucky Network Company. A Pike County man is now facing a felony charge following a wreck that allegedly led to the death of another driver. 27-year-old Jerry Shields of Newsom Branch at Virgie was indicted this week. According to the indictment, Shields was involved in a wreck May 13th, where the driver of another vehicle was severely injured. Shields is accused of leaving the scene of the wreck on Kentucky 610 West at Virgie without rendering or summoning aid for the injured driver. Jerry Shields was involved in a wreck in which a fellow received some very serious injuries. It appears that the wreck was caused by Jerry Shields going left of center and hitting this other car head on. Jerry Shields then jumped out of his car and ran away. Initially it was discovered that one of the occupants had uh, severe injuries uh, and was taken to Pikeville Medical Center. Uh, the other uh, operator uh, wasn't initially located. However, he was identified and has since been presented to the grand jury. The other driver, 72-year-old Paul Chico Newsom, also of Virgie, died last week as a result of his injuries, nearly a week after the crash. Unfortunately, this man that was injured in the wreck uh, has passed away from his injuries uh, after about a week following the wreck. And so it's a very sad case in that sense. Now, Shields has not been charged with causing the wreck. Uh, this is simply leaving the scene of the accident. The case is still very much under investigation by the Kentucky State Police and additional charges may be brought later depending on what else they find out during the investigation. Uh, at this time he has an active uh, uh, warrant for his arrest. A warrant has been issued for Jerry Shields' arrest on a charge of leaving the scene of a motor vehicle injury accident, a Class D felony punishable by up to five years in prison. Anyone with information on his whereabouts is asked to contact Kentucky State Police or any other law enforcement agency. In Pike County, Chris Anderson, EKB News.